So children, this is lesson number 9, part 3, that is heat and its effect. So children, the contents that I am going to cover is, uh, I am going to talk mainly about two effects of heat, that is the change of state of matter and the color changes. We have four effects of heat that we have to learn, that is the increase in temperature, expansion, change of state of matter and color changes. So I did increase in temperature and expansion in your previous presentations so in this presentation i will be discussing only of two changes and the effects of heat so we will be learning the third effect of heat that is the change in the state of matter so children we know in nature matter it exists in three different forms the first one is the solids as liquids and as gases so children you can observe the picture and see so children see how the particles the arrangement of the particles in solids so when we take a very close look what can you see that the particles they are very tightly packed to one another but when we take liquids the particles they are not as tightly packed in solids they are somewhat able to move freely but when we take the gases, the particles, they are not bound to one another. They are at a very greater distance apart. Therefore, they can move very freely. So, children, what is meant by the change of state of matter? That means, it is the change of state from one state to another. So, that means, just take a solid. It becomes a liquid. So, this is called as the for so one state of matter is being changed into another state that is called as the change of state of matter how does this happen children change of state of matter it occurs when we add heat that means when we supply heat when we supply heat a solid can be changed into a liquid a liquid can be changed into a gas so what the other how does a change of state of matter occurs so either by supplying heat or by releasing heat releasing heat means by removing the heat so by removing heat a gas can be converted into a liquid a liquid can be converted into a solid so children change of state of matter happens when we supply heat that means when we add heat so just think the picture shows you an ice cube some ice cubes so when we add heat or when we supply heat the ice will melt and it will form water so you can see children there will be a change of state of matter so a solid that is ice becomes liquid water so when we add heat further what will happen water it will become water vapor so water it is liquid when we add heat or when we supply heat it becomes water vapor that is a gas so children when releasing heat that means the removal of heat also change of state of matter happens so you can see water vapor it is a gas so when heat is being released or heat is being removed it will be converted to water so change of state of matter happens that means a gas will be converted into a liquid so when heat is released further or he removal of heat happens water will be converted into ice that means a liquid will be converted into a solid so children this is a picture of a candle we know that a candle it is made up of wax so wax is a solid so when we light the candle what will happen children after some time you can see that the wax will melt and the solid wax will become molten wax so molten wax uh, is the melted wax children so it will change its state from solid to liquid children you can observe wax vapor at the middle of the flame so you know when you light the candle 
the solid wax it will melt and it will form liquid wax which is drawn by the wick as the candle it gets hotter what will happen the liquid wax it will evaporate into gas so this is wax vapor that is a gas so the gaseous wax it burns in the presence of oxygen so the wax vapor remains in the air after you blow out the candle so you can see children so children we will be doing a very simple activity that is activity 9.7 to observe the changes of state of matter so you need a candle a box of matches and a small metal tube you can use a glass tube also children if you don't have a metal tube so uh, so how can you do this so first you have to observe the solid wax you know that the candle is made up of wax and the wax is a solid so when you light next you have to light the candle when you light the candle what can you observe you can observe liquid wax so you can also observe wax vapor in the middle of the flame so children to observe wax vapor in the middle of the flame you can insert you can hold a metal tube using a pair of tongues if you otherwise your hands might get burnt so you have to use a pair of tongues to hold the metal tube and you have to hold it to the middle of the flame and the other end to another flame so you can hold uh, the other end of the metal tube you can bring a lighted match stick near it and you can observe children what will happen so next is a video you can observe how we are going to do the practical to show that innermost zone of a flame consists of unburnt wax vapors take a candle and place it on a table now light it with the help of a matchstick. Bring a glass tube and introduce one end of the glass tube in the innermost zone of the flame. Now bring an ignited matchstick near the other end of the glass tube. What do you see? We see a flame at the end of the glass tube. The innermost zone of the flame near the heated wick consists of unburnt vapors. These wax vapors enter the glass tube and come out from the other end. And on introducing a lighted matchstick near the end of the glass tube, the wax vapors coming out of it catch fire producing a flame. So we can say that the innermost zone of a candle consists of unburnt wax vapors. So children, the fourth effect of heat is the color change. When a piece of metal is heated in a smithy, smithy children, you can observe first it will turn into red color, then it will be orange color. Then when it is further heated, it will be yellow. So children, color changes can be observed when electrical energy is provided to a filament pulp. So electrical energy will be converted into heat energy. Therefore, you can observe color changes. You can observe a transformation of colors. That means you can see the first color you can observe is it becomes red. The filament of the bulb, it becomes red then it will become orange then yellow then finally it will turn into white color so the reason for this color change is the transformation of electrical energy to heat energy so children in this slide i will be talking to you about the effects of heat to the environment so the first one is the occurrence of drought so during the drought season you know there is plenty of sunlight the sun is shining very brightly and the tanks and all they dry up the tanks the rivers and all they will dry up so that the water level of the tanks they will go down so therefore the land it will dry out very severely and the whole environment will become dusty this might cause a reason for the 
forest fires to happen children therefore the forest fires they will spread in the environment is dry so children the heat of the sun it can affect the water cycle so the picture shows the water cycle so you know rainfall it's a result of the water cycle so there will be changes in the patterns of the rainfall also so occurrence of ocean currents is also as a result of an effect of heat children so children you know that the equator the water near the equator it is very warm the temperature is very high children and you know children at the poles the north pole and the south pole they are the colder areas of the earth so you know that the water there it is very cold so there will be due to this uh, heat water currents occur in the sea due to the heat so warm water from the equator it will flow towards the poles and the cold water will flow towards the equator therefore there will be a circulation of ocean currents this occurs due to heat so children uh, what causes the rise in the global temperature you can see the first picture it shows deforestation deforestation means they have cut down all the trees and human activities you know human activities human is the main cause for environmental pollution and the combustion of fossil fuels so what will happen children due to these activities the temperature the temperature of the earth it will become very high therefore the amount of carbon dioxide will also become very high you know that carbon dioxide the if it is very high in the atmosphere it is not good for health this will cause environmental pollution and this will decrease the oxygen content therefore children it will cause the rise in the global temperature that is called as global warming so children as a result of the rise in the global temperature there will be melting of the glaciers at the polar regions so when the glaciers at the polar regions they start to melt what will happen it will cause the rise in the sea levels therefore uh, the small islands and all they will get drowned next, next you can see you have to find children you have to discover how wind is being formed so i will just tell you one point wind is produced by the uneven heating of the earth's surface so children you have to find how wind is being formed so this will end the lesson which is heat and its effects so thank you children and god bless you stay safe